divide and conquer is what we like to call it at Rag and Bone. Uh, Marcus heads up all of the design and the sort of artistic elements and I run the commerce side of things. The original idea came from North Africa. The British Army in North Africa came into it, but it was also the contrast between the sort of very hard modern techie motocross motorsport thing. And then you add different influences. There was a sort of Victorian lace element to it to soften it, to help. And my dad was in the army and my grandfather, both in North Africa. So that's where the massive shorts, you know, the like ridiculously big shorts came in. Playing with the silhouette and the proportion of really exaggerating things or shrinking things, which is not something we've ever really explored properly before. It starts with various ideas, you know. I have initial things that I'm interested in for the season and you start developing fabrics and you start talking about a silhouette and the various specific influences and we build a mood board often sort of with one contrast at one at one side and the other the opposite end of the spectrum at the other side we wanted to we've always tried to be as original as we can and to try and sort of mirror the authenticity of rag and bone in everything that we do and I think you know our reaction to a lot of advertising these days is that it doesn't really feel approachable or real, it's all sort of photoshopped and it just doesn't feel attainable, it just feels like this sort of fake luxury ideal and I think um, our girl isn't really, as far as I know, <laughs> isn't really drawn to that type of thing. It's been a really fun experience for us opening stores because we didn't have a lot of money to do them either. So we actually chose the stores based on the, the sort of inherent character that they have or had and tried to sort of exaggerate it or to sort of rip stuff down and see what we found underneath. Our stores are sort of a function of two things. One is obviously to sell clothes, but two, it's a huge branding statement. Um, you know, from when we first started, the stores that allowed us to sort of be a bit more creative and a bit um, sort of stamp our own identity on the vest with the clothes because they have a story behind them and they have an authenticity and they need to be put in the right environment. We always felt, I think, that opening our own store would make a huge difference to the sort of recognition of the brand and people's understanding of what we stood for and what Rag and Bone kind of is and how it's put together. I think the DNA of the brand would probably be Marcus and I and the, the sort of interaction that we have and the experiences that we've had. The overall journey, starting with this authentic denim factory in Kentucky, this old American workwear factory, sort of married to the sort of evolution of what we thought the brand stands for, what we think the brand stands for and what it would look like, um, and, and that being shaped by this sort of England meets New York thing, surrounded by lots of women.